Hi everyone, this is Gabriel from Blue My Mind, recording for February 13th. Wanted to give you guys a run through of some basics and obviously uh, the application Excel 2010. For those of you that are not familiarized with Excel, this is how it looks like when you click on New. There's a lot of different templates that you can use. You can even download others should you require some. So just to run through the options real quick, you got your blank worksheet. You can create templates, you got agendas, books, budgets, calendar, cards, faxes, forms, inventory, invoices, memos, lists, statements, and much, much more. The most common usage of this is to calculate numbers. So let's take this one, click on download. So here's a template that we got from Microsoft's website. And if this is a template that you want to use for your own invoice, just make sure to fill in the blanks over here in an invoice number address for build to and ship to and here we go so if you're not familiarized with Excel these are the fields where you would need to fill in the blanks over here there you've got zero values but if you look up above there's a whole formula that puts into consideration all this information and then starts adding it up for you. For example, if I say for description videos, unit price, let's say 250, automatically it's done the math over here, added a subtotal, even taxes, and away we go. So you can very easily uh, create an invoice using this template. Should you need more lines, a way to add more is simply highlight the amount of lines that you need, click on copy and then just go one line above or below and hit paste. Moving along, um, if, you've, if you're not familiarized with formulas to get things like this which are definitely more complex, you can make your own. For example, if you're going to do 565, just putting in random numbers and then here we'll do the same thing. Let's say you want to add these two together. You very simply go to the box on the right. You can click on formulas and click on auto sum. And choose this column. And let's say you just want to multiply, so you do asterisk, next value, and hit enter. Now, you could do the same thing that I just did for each line, or you could just do copy with control C and then paste and away you go. As you can see all those values are inserted with the same formula. Another way to do that process faster you could delete all these, click on copy and just highlight the value and hit paste much faster. Another thing you can do is you want to add all these values up so we will make a little box underneath here by clicking in this area you have all the different options should these options of boxes whether this square doesn't impress you much or simply a thick line you can always click on draw border and then you can make your own box so if you want to choose if you want to choose a different style just click with the right button click on more borders or you could have done the same thing here choose the style you want click OK very simple. Also, if you want to have dollar values here, click on plus and these values turn to dollars. If they would need to be percentages, click here or back to dollars. Should this percentage be wrong and you want to have less zeros, you just press on this button and they'll either add more zeros or the op. Uh, you could also highlight your, your rows of cells like so. 
if you prefer not to go this route in the menu with the right button you get the same menu as here down there so you can go much faster you can also change all the fonts make it bold italics center the nation another thing is if ever you're typing long statement like so as you can see it's one cell here and another cell there you can easily mix the two right button and click on merge and center this way you got two boxes in one or the sort and filter button over here you can do a custom sort and you say column L you want largest to smallest and then here's that sorting system right in front of you in terms of other values you can see you can select currency amount the dates the times percentages all the different things that you need to display in your text another good thing that you can do with this in case you didn't want to merge it and you click on format cell click on alignment you can click on shrink to fit and the font shrinks to fit in that box or another very common thing is wrap to text so see it made the box much bigger so the font is okay otherwise when you stretch it out everything's to be okay another popular function is the orientation if you want to put your your writing on an angle you can do that just so that you know there, these are all the different menus available in in Microsoft Excel you got the home you got the insert which has pivot tables pictures clip art shapes these are all the different shapes that you can add you can change the colors make them look more 3D if you want. Another really cool feature is if you need to make like bar graphs. So you can make a 3D bar graph using the values that I just grabbed over here. And you can change the colors the style all with a few clicks should you find that what you're seeing here is not zoomed in enough you got the zoom options over here so you can zoom out or zoom in this option over here page break preview is very important if you want to put one document one multiple page document in one printed page so as you can see I just stretched out the dividing line that if I were to hit print I would get this on one page versus if I stretch it out this far I have all of this on on one page or I can take that and split the page into two so that's very important printing because sometimes Excel has a mind of its own with its documents so Please be sure to use this page break pre preview. Other graphs that you can do. You could also do word art if you need to make a presentation with this. Uh, Excel 2010. Similar to PowerPoint, when you're playing around with graphics, you can send this backwards, forwards. As you can see, when I send this backwards, this blue uh, oval box overlaps this one so if I send this backward this one comes forward so it's, a, it's like Photoshop if you're familiar with layers that there's different layers to every picture and you can do that with this as well 
as you can see over here just so that you know in the page layout is basically what we just played around with here see as I scale it down the uh, page separations are, are moving all over the place so either you can use this manually or play with the scales but definitely it's going to take a lot more time also be sure to know that there's a difference between portrait and landscape due to the fact that you're either print, printing on the from top to bottom or left to right on the document in terms of formulas these are all the the most common ones if you want more functions you can go into here the uh, options are, are very very vast so if there's any type of formula you'd like me to perform please let me know and I'll see what I can do to show you this is how you would pull out data into your Excel file through access a web form a text or other files and you got spelling research thesaurus if you need to translate this is a great feature should you have a tablet PC all you need to do is you click on start inking and you can start correcting the information that you have on the screen say nope this no good or highlight say oh this is important or erase it's neat that you could only erase what you wrote and not anything beyond that and also and you've got comments which is very very helpful you can just pick a point and say we'll zoom in add comments cool video thanks for the information And then when someone sees this red arrow, they refer to it and they got all the information right there. So that's about it. That's the basics of uh, Excel 2010. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll do my best to make a, a second video to complement this for anyone that needs more advanced uh, information. So thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.